So, good morning. I haven't recognized that this was open here. This is my corridor and I'm going out. The time is 11.28. I have my camera ready and my camera in my hand ready. It's a little cloudy. This is the second day there's been some clouds, but it's still warm, nice. Not hot, but warm. So this is the one that goes down to the amphitheater. Today is sort of a sightseeing day and also going out to the diving center. I want to feel the water before, if it's very cold or not, or if it's okay to dive in. If it's okay, then I would love to dive tomorrow. The next day after that, it feels like I'm going to bled and that train leaves not until six o'clock in the afternoon. So maybe I, I have time to do uh, two dives that day as well before I take the train. That would be brilliant. In that case, Julia will come and I will check out and maybe she can drive me to the diving center with my suitcase if we finish at four and uh, then I'll take a taxi and then I can catch the train at six. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? It's so funny, it looks like they're ho holding their nipples. There was a lot of cars in the middle of the city and they, they do have Uber here, but there was only one car that's quite far away from here, but maybe, you know, I'll get a car. We'll see. I'm waiting for my Uber. It will be here shortly. And here it is. Yes, I've ordered four dives, two for tomorrow, that will be two reef dives and on Saturday I will do two dives as well and one of them will be a wreck dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm uh, very happy. I had like long suits and five millimeters, so you said the, the, the suits are, are quite good because it's like 24 degrees in the surface and 19 a little bit more down. But I will check and feel the water now beforehand, I think. Hello, fishes. Yes, this is a good place. Okay, let's bend the knee. <clears throat> oh, this is much, much, much warmer than it was in Dubrovnik. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel very calm about this. Very nice. Everything works out according to plan. All the things that I was thinking about uh, when doing my planning, and I've sort of actually stuck to my plan. I've been, I, I stuck to my plan. Yeah. Maybe I, if I want to stay here, in Pula for another day because this will be the sightseeing day today and then I will have two days of diving but I will be finished with the diving tomorrow at 2-3 o'clock so then I'll have the, the whole afternoon as well to do something else and on Saturday I will, ha will have time to do the two dives and then take the train in the, in the evening at 6 o'clock to bled. I have to think about it tonight if I'm gonna do straight to bled because it feels like when I'm adding up the days now, I'm coming home the 10th of July. So I could stay for another day here, or maybe I should make another stop in Slovenia, or, or maybe Ljubljana. I had sent a message to Igor, my friend Igor. I went to school with him in Ballet Academy, and I sort of haven't seen him since, I think. And he used to live in Ljubljana, 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 
uh, but I don't know if he still does that. Uh, so maybe I should go to Ljubljana, Ljubljana for one day, for two days, on the way to Bled. But okay, the marina. Enjoy. There is actually a bus here that takes me Veru Veruda to Veru I'm going to well arena and this is probably maybe the center and uh, I think it, it will come in about eight minutes. I start to feel my feet and I'm thinking if I'm gonna do a lot of sightseeing today maybe I shouldn't ruin my feet on walking to the center. It's also a nice thing to have the local bus. That's an adventure in its own. <laughs> cool. And I'm in town again. That was totally worth it. 15 Swedish crowns, 1 euro, and I'm uh, here. It's almost 2 o'clock, and I'll start with the gate. Look at the houses. Beautiful. This is a little bit crazy. You think, okay, this is uh, like an arch that we've seen before, but it's actually from before Christ. So it's more than 2,000 years old. That's pretty amazing. And it was Silvio Postano who ordered them to build this because he won wanted to honor three family members. Yeah, they've done a lot of great things in the Roman Empire. Could you imagine what would he say if I would say that 2,000 years later I'm standing here and talking about it? This is where um, James Joyce used to live and uh, now is the, the bar and he's always sitting here. He has his own seat. I think I'm entering the old town, so to speak. Looks very nice. I can say that it's very cozy here, like sort of like a Dubrovnik style, but much, 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 much less people. Looking for this church. What do you think? Have I found it? Is this? church. I think it is. It looks old. Like that is a bad thing. Ah, oh, it looks old. And just by the big street here, by the highway. Okay, let's talk about it. I think it's called something about Mary. There's, there's something about the thing about the Mary. Mar How do you solve a problem like Maria? That's not Mary. This little Byzantine chapel is very old and inside you have mosaics from 500 years after Christ. And uh, it's a chapel that belonged to the big basilica of Maria Formose. And this is uh, what's left of that basilica. It's made like a Byzantine cross, as you can see on this. And there used to be another one, on, but that's gone. And this is the Basilica. Yeah. There is a church here and there is also a convent. Uh, when I read about the, the inscription, the, the, the description, it doesn't feel like this might be the church, this might be the convent. Convent? Oh, here we have cluster something. Francesco, Francesco, cluster, okay. Let's discover. <laughs> They're very close, but they have to put a sign. 39 meters. Okay, this is something more. The white thing might be the church. And this, oh, this is the rosette. It is a little bit funny. 
you see that the Pula flag is very very similar to the Swedish flag. Verona had exactly the Swedish colors. You don't, don't see it so clearly here but it looks like blue here is actually green so it's green and yellow. That's the colors of Pula. <laughs> and the church was built in the end of the 13th century. This is the convent and uh, the pillars down here all look the same and the pillars upstairs they all look different. They have their own style. And we have turtles. Don't show them. I see four. Hello. Now it just looks weird. Built in 1299. the monastery and this is the church a very rare church because it's it's just uh, one room like this it usually has the shape of a cross or something but this is just the middle part of the cross okay let's continue I'm going up and turning left and then turning left and probably go down again this also seems like a old street, an old door. That's the road I came from. And if you're following this path, if you're following it in, in the order that they are numbered, then you're going up and down, up and down. And that might you think is a little bit hard, because that you could just walk all the sites down the stairs, but then you'll miss these very nice roads. So go to these places in order because this is really really nice. It feels very Romanesque, if you ask me. Now I'm going back a little bit because I'm gonna watch this thing I I will see here from the front. It's also from the Roman time. This is an opening that's been or is it maybe it's been bigger? There's a big, big, big opening. A big square here. And that was actually not the thing that I was looking for. Oh my god, yes. This was this. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's small, but it's beautiful. Yeah. 
från århundradet före Kristus, alltså nästan 2000 år gammalt. Och jag står här framför den här stora platsen som var dåtidens marknadsplats. Let's uh, go upstairs, shall we? Upstairs? That's not upstairs, you think? You say, oh, well, but yes, it is. Oh my. And over there, that's the church and the convent. And I'm going up to the castle. The castle? Fort? Fortation? It has so many names. And I can't say one of them correctly. I'm not sure if this is a shortcut or not. I think it was. <laughs> that little, 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 little tower. And that is not so old, I think. But we have some cannons here. Oh, some of them are big. These are quite big holes, aren't they? Oh, that's a big hole. Maybe it's injured. Why I'm talking about this is because there was a lot of stone balls lying around in stacks in Dubrovnik. The guide asked uh, what, what we thought they used it for and I said cannon balls and he said no they're too big for that. This was actually the catapult ball so they was catapulting it away or if they come close they could just throw them off the wall and hit people. This is the wall grave. I don't think you call it like that in English. Vallgrav. I think it's uh, it's supposed to be water here, but they maybe have run out. Museo Storico in the Val dell'Istria, and Istria is sort of where the area I'm around. The city is Pula, and the area is Istria. Castel, Castello, Castle, Castel. Probably some entrance here. Oh yeah, 20 kunas. Let's go upstairs. How did they get there? Oh, they jumped? Or well, they got up from the other side? Oh, yeah, so they can't come here. Maybe that's the train station over there. You have also something called, yeah, maybe the port uh, as well. Okay, I see a boat with catamaran. And over here, behind this here, the, you have the old town over here. And that's very ugly harbor. There's the clock tower of the cathedral. This is a very nice house. This is actually a star-shaped fort. You can see this, it's like an arrow that's going around like this. It has like four bastions. And I don't know actually what that means. It's like four corners. <laughs> I'm ready to go up in the tower now. This is a trick that you find things to do and all of a sudden you will have the tower for yourself. I mean, this is uh, how it was before, that the harbour and uh, the city was very close to each other because that's where they worked. And I think the marina is over there. Well, I wasn't that totally wrong. I mean, I presume you have cannonballs, but 
the ones we were talking about were that big and, and uh, he said no that's not a cannonball that's a catapult ball <laughs> it gets to me a little bit it's I mean this is it's for real it's also for real but it's hard to comprehend but this is for real this is used weapons you can really see that so this is pieces that people have been used to kill other people with I mean, when you think about it like that, it's kind of an awful feeling. Oh, there's machinery from a boat here. This I don't know what it is. Oh, that's the arena. Huh. Oh, and here we have a crown. And that's the weapon. Yeah, that's the weapon of uh, Verona, uh, not Verona, but of uh, Pula. Probably with a uh, blue cross and uh, green in the squares. So this is how it looked in 1633. And there you can see actually that they, they had a bridge there, but there was also one more point here before you got out, and I didn't really see that. And then it all changed. This is in the in the middle of 19th century. And now that we have the late 19th century, both the tower that I was up to and, and this thing here. And this is 1999. Okay, so this is my plans for, for now. Yes, I'm actually planning on going home just for a little while and uh, buy maybe some coffee again and I will pass uh, the, the last few objects uh, because I don't have any batteries left for my phone and then I can just be home for 30 minutes 45 minutes charge the phone and then go out again and my plan is just to walk around the city and see if I can see the, the guys uh, doing the modern stuff again hopefully that's about it for today. I think I remember myself. <laughs> I think I... <laughs> oh, nice stone. I'm gonna check the Hadrianus Gate or something. Hadrianus Gate, I might say it wrong, but Hadrianus Gate is also from At Antalya in Turkey, where you and I were. Uh, yeah, Hadrianus Gate, and uh, maybe this is Hadrianus Gate as well, or something Hercules Gate. But I do remember when I walked up this street, I was said, oh, but isn't that the street where I'm supposed to go up to my apartment? I'm not sure yet, but I think it is. I think it's that street over there. And the arena is over there. Yes, I've been here for one day and I'm the total guide of the town. You couldn't find a better guide than me. I know everything. Everything. Everything takes more time than you expect. I just came to the apartment, so I thought I would have some time to sort of relax a little bit, maybe an hour, but it's 20 minutes to 7, and then I have to be uh, ready to see if the, the modern dancers are going to do it again at, at 7.30. Uh, so I just have half an hour. Now I'll think I'd do myself a, a, the daily wine, the dog, the dailiness. What's the English word for dargans? Wine of today? No. Dargans is 50% wine, white wine and 50% Sprite. Might sound strange, but it's uh, quite nice. But I don't have an English word for it. Maybe the dailiness? The Danish? No. <laughs> the Dalish? The Dalish. I will have a Dalish today. 
out again and uh, it's about 7.25. I don't even know if they're gonna be there tonight. Maybe it was just with this one thing. That's the fun part. You never know. I think I might come down directly to where it was yesterday. Now I got so high expectations that I'm gonna be really, really sad if they're not gonna do it tonight. Well, this is exactly the place they were yesterday. And it's totally empty. Where are they? Oh, look at that. i never seen a restaurant going on like this. Is this like uh, a little fresh water? I think it is. Never seen anything like it. And still they don't have any customers. So, I sort of been counting on watching this performance. So, I don't know what to do right now. Well, I n might need something to eat. Oh, this is the marketplace, yeah. It's a shame that uh, the restaurant is like that because you don't really see this is very, very lovely, the stairs up here. The fish market, uh, pescheria, so it's a market inside. A truffle pesto. Wouldn't that be nice? Where are you? It is really beautiful. And uh, also this, and I need just to know what exactly this is. So I need to read the plaque. So I think it's uh, the government or something here. Consiglio Municipal, yeah, that's something. Now I don't know what's happening here. There's a cow. Have you seen this? There's beer here. And I don't know if they're selling it or if they just uh, give it to people. I think it's just for some special people, but it's it's still amazing that you can give it out like this uh, in the middle of the square. You couldn't do that in Sweden because then you have to have like a big rope around this and call it a bar. It's not it's the baby cow. Oh, the two of them. Hopefully, they will have a good time. This looks a, a little bit strange, doesn't it? Well, not this in particular, uh, but do you think of everything when you see this picture? And then you see, my God, there's a big, 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 big ship just lying there, very, very close. It looks like it's gonna take over the whole city. That's end of that story. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I want. I want a crepe. But I know where I can find crap. Does it say crap? No, it's at Orpheo. I want the, the meaty crap. I don't want the dessert crap. I want with the with cheese and, and uh, ham and stuff. And there was one place in the old city that I saw they did crap, but I can't remember where. And I don't know if I passed it or if it's ahead of me. They might only do dessert crepes as well, but. Um, I've only seen two two places, and one place I'm definitely sure that they only do uh, the dessert crepe. So let's see if I can find the other one. See, yay! I found it. Pancakes, yay! But I'm not sure. Let's. I have to check if they have. Hello. you? No, they only did with Nutella. Only crepe with Nutella. So I don't have so much hopes for something else. Oh, so there is a thing here. Water terrace. That must be the one, the thing that I saw. What needed now though, because now it's uh, quite uh, nice outside. And this, and hello again. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Look, here we have excursions. Venezia, been there. It's uh, next, been there. Postonia Cave might go and might go to that uh, uh, castle as well because they're very close. Lake Bled probably will go there. Ha ha ha. Looks amazing. 
and yeah. Wonder if there is a party somewhere. I don't know. We have the whole city, and uh, that's the amphitheater. And this is the street I will go up to, and I think this is where I live now. That's where we are right now, where the water is from. And I've been up to here today. The port, the castle, the castle, and this is the old town. And where's the, oh yeah, that's the thingy, and where's the, and here we have the, the temple, and the big square.